Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with uh, permissions. So in the previous video, we worked with the roles and we can assign a permission to the role. Now I'm going to do the same thing for permission. So if we go here, uh, down here, I'm going to display all the roles this permission has, and also a form to assign a new role. And if you don't want to do that, no problem, because all of the relationship we made, we made here. So it's not a problem, but just I'm going to show you how we can do. And one more thing here, I'm going to add a class to separate this from the form because it's not looking very good. So in here, Let's open the resources, views, uh, admin, roles, and edit. And now here I'm going to add padding of two and uh, BG to be slate 100. And the same thing down there. So BG slate 100 let's save and refresh and yeah now i think it's more okay now let's copy this uh, thing here and go to the permissions edit and paste that in okay Let's indent it, and here is going to be roles now. Also, down there, we need to say dollar sign permission roles. And I'm going to leave it as it is, role permission. Or if you want, let's change this. Let's say permission role now the road is going to be permissions roles and remove not revoke but remove and also down there it's going to be permissions roles permissions dot roles and here now we need the permission ID, not role ID. So permission ID. Okay, also here is going to be roles. And make selecting them all. So let's select from here. And say role. And here we have this error. Let's say for role, but we're not... Uh, validating or we can validate no problem and let's save it and let's open the web roads and create two roads here so first one is going to be i'm going to add it at, after the permissions so road and post post permissions and we need the permission here and roles okay now the controller is going to be permission controller class and the method uh, is going to be assign role and give it the name so name name is going to be the name we have here so permission roles okay let's put paste that in and copy and duplicate this now the second is going to be delete roles uh, and we need the role here now the method is going to be remove role 
and the name is going to be uh, permissions roles removed. Let's copy this and paste in the name. Let's save and open the browser and refresh. If I go now to the permissions, add the permission, and we don't have the role ID in if permission roles. So let's go to the edit. Yeah, here we have role ID, but we need permission ID. Okay, save, refresh. And we don't have the roles, so let's open the permission controller. And in the edit, we need to say dollar sign roles and get all the role. Sorry, all. And we need to import that role. So import spot permission models role. And say roles here. Save. Refresh. And yeah, here it is. Roles. And we have one role by default. Uh, because we assign it to the roles. And I want also to add the same background in this one. So let's say padding of 2 and BG slate 100 save and refresh okay and also why is post name there in the form it's not post name but is a uh, permission name okay you can do that but just to be more good now when i Assign a new role. So here we have all the roles, and I want to assign this one. We need to create that method and to assign a new role. We have this assign role. We need to create this in permissions. Oh, sorry. Let's create that function with that name. And here we need the request dollar sign request and permission dollar sign permission and here we are going to do the same thing we have done with the role controller so here first we check if we have that and return with a message permission exist and after that if we are if we don't have we give permission so and here i'm going to say if the permission as a role and the request role now if we have that we can say role exist okay now if we don't have we need to assign so let's say dollar sign permission assign a role and the request a role and also after that i'm going to say a role assign Okay, let's save this and refresh here. Let's say I want to add the writer to this permission. Click assign, role assign it, and we have the role here. Very good. Next thing is when we click here, we want to remove that. And if I do, now we don't have that remove role. So let's go and create. Okay, so here. Let's say function and the name is remove role 
here we need the permission, dollar sign permission, and the role, dollar sign role. And after that, we need to check if the permission as role and add the role there. We need now to remove, so permission, remove role and the role we have and return back with message role removed otherwise we return with me message role does not exist and save let's go and refresh click on the user click ok and role removed now click and assign user here okay let's assign again the user we have the user assign and role exist okay so that's it how we can assign roles to the permission and now here we have this edit post permission has writer and user so if i go to the writer we have edit post and the user has the edit post so writer has edit post also if i go back and see that and this one has edit post but if i go to this delete post no one we have here and if i go to the u writer and give it uh, permission to delete post okay and if i go here now to the delete post we have the role here hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next one all the best don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you very much